discounts. When you're in the store and let's say it's Black Friday and it's crazy busy and you want to know how much your um, pair of pants that you found that cost $19.99 normally and it has a 10% or 25% or 40% discount, how much is it going to cost you now? And so there are a few ways you can do that. I'll show you the exact method first again. So we would first think, well, I don't want to show you the exact method. I want to show you mental because you can see this $19.99 is almost $20. So I'm definitely just going to round it to $20. I'm in the store. I want to know if I'm going to have how, how much the pants are and so if they're worth it for me to buy them or not. So the amount of the discount, if I'm doing 10% off, remember 10%, you're just going to move the decimal one place left. And so a 10% discount would be $2. A 5% discount, well, 5 is just half of 10, so it would just be a dollar off. Still not enough to make me want to buy them. A 25% discount, there are 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25. There are four 25s in 100 or 100%. So if I want 25% off, that's one-fourth off. So I would find one-fourth of the original price. So that would end up being 20 divided by 4, or $5 off. Now there's another way to do that, because I can show you 10% plus 10% plus 5%, of course, will be another way for you to find 25%. And let's try it out. So if we add up two 10%, we have two plus two is four, plus one is five. There it is, 25% off. So we can take 25% is a fourth of 100%. So we can take a fourth of the clothing bill, and that would give you your discount for 25% off. 40% off, we have a few ways of doing that. You may just want to do four times the 10%, discount because the 10% discount is so easy to find. So we do 4 times 2, so this would be $8 off here for the 40%. So total bill, this time I'm not adding them together like I did for the restaurant bill or the taxes, but I'm actually subtracting because it's a discount in the store. So 20 minus 2, so I'm going to have $18 for the sale price, 20 minus 1 here, so $19. $5 off here, so that's going to be $15, and then $8 off here, that's going to be $12. So that's a quick way for me to figure out the price. Now when the discounts are high, I actually do it a different way because I look at, if it's say it's 60% off, I say, well, that's 40% left over for the price, so I just find 40% of the, of the item's price. It's easier than the 60% and then subtract the cost.